Hi everybody, happy 4th of July, um, if you celebrate that. Um, anyway, if you're in the U.S., um, anyway, uh, I was moved to do a meeting, or a meeting, sorry, a reading <laughs> for, um, see where the energies are. I was moved to use these, um, the sexual magic, the true of sexual magic, and, um, these, the Santa Muerta, and let me just tell you, it's like, this is all, I feel very connected to these two decks, okay, I'm, I'm half Mexican, and, um, you know, this is all, I don't know, this, this is all about, I'm just here, and activate your sexy, you know, the, um, the Bruno Mars song. It's kind of like been a theme for me, like the last uh, week or so. <laughs> um, it's a message that I received personally. So um, maybe I'm not the only one alone in that, you know? And so I just feel like, but I feel obviously because I'm, I was moved to um, use these cards for this reading. It's like, you know, for, it's just been a really long freaking journey, you know? And, um, anyway, I'm just going to be quiet. Divine masculine, divine feminine connection. And then I'm going to clarify with the other ones. And if I get, feel moved to get any other cards, then I will. masculine king of swords I feel like someone is watching him and he's watching someone else he's like fantasizing about somebody else see this I mean his foot is like all over her breast and this woman is watching. Not very happy. She's also wearing a crown. So it's like. Uh, again, this is like um, third. Third party energy, but also with the king of swords, like, well, let's just let me just keep going. And what's over here? The knave of pentacles. So this is the page. I feel like he is like dreaming of giving her an offer that she cannot refuse, that she's just like going to be like, he just wants to eat her up, right? And she's going to let him. <laughs> so, all right. That'll activate your sexy, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. So, um, one card for Divine Feminine. Look at this. Ten of Wands. This has been a burden, like a heavy burden, um, just keeping this a secret, keeping this hidden. You know, I, I feel like that's where the energy's been, like a lot of um, divine feminine energy has been um, like not tolerating it anymore. I mean, look, like her, her clothes are all ripped and it's like she's ready to be exposed. She's just, she's practically naked anyway. She wants to come out. She loves the divine masculine. She would do anything for the divine masculine. 
but it's no longer worth her self-respect. It's just not. Even if that means moving on. Cause look, this is the Ten of Cups here. She wants this. She doesn't want to be hiding in the bushes. She wants to be like wide out in the open, like knowing that like he's going to like adore her and love her. And this could also like, this also goes back, back to this. I'm like tied back to this is like divine, some divine masculine are in this kind of relationship where they're doing all the work and whoever they're connected to their girlfriend, their wife, whatever, um, literally sit on their ass and like, don't do shit and just make him. He's like totally overworked. And this is why it's been hidden. All right, let's see. Collect the um, connection energy. One card for the connection. All right, yeah. There's a lot of sexual chemistry here. Like the passion is like on fire between these two. But... And here's the Queen of Swords. And I feel like this is um, okay. This is what I'm getting. She's willing to walk away. It will kill her. <laughs> like, it will hurt, like, really freaking bad. But she's literally ready to just... It's like... Done. I mean, look at this right here. I mean, the passion is, like, intense between these two. But she's ready to like do it in the bed, in a house. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and if that means she has to walk away, it's all about being true to you, true to your own heart, to thine own self be true. And the king here, look, his eyes are closed. It's like she's washing him naked. He's got his foot on her boob. This lady's watching him, but he's closing his eyes. Like, if I don't look at her, she's not really there, and I'm not really touching her boob. So I feel like <laughs> divine masculine is like, In fucking denial. He just like doesn't want to deal with it. It's like go time. Are we going to push past this energy and be together? Or I mean, like, that's like, what, what is it? Um, hedonism back there, you know, everybody's naked and having sex. And like, I mean, this is an extremely sex sexual relationship. I mean, like, the passion is just, like, heavy. See? That's why, that's why I was moved to use these. Because, like, it 
these cards. All right, so I'm going to get some clarifiers, and we're going to see what the heck else is going on here. I mean, yeah. She's going in. Like, this is the hermit card. Like, she's over here sitting, like, she is so done being by herself, you know, because a lot of divine um, feminines have really, I mean, they have like really turned their lives around. And this guy, like, she's like giving him an offer. She told him and he's like, still not taking it serious. And she's like, listen, I'm done. Like for real. And he's like pleading because he wants her so bad. Look, he's like, she, her back is to him. I don't know. I mean, the queen of swords is like, she's somebody that's like, well, look, she's she's mourning this man in his picture. You know, usually she's like the the widow, or um, I mean, how do you think you're gonna feel when like I mean, twin flames? They're like you know, split in two. So it's like you lose that other half of you. Like, how do you think that feels? I mean, you could get like this. Want to be bitter? But this isn't about being bitter. This is just about, yes, she's done with a broken heart. Done with hiding in the bushes. But she's going to go get her happiness because she knows that she deserves it. Oh, I'm hearing that song, Kiss Them For Me, Susie and the Banshees. I don't know. I'm going to have to listen to that later. You listen to it. Um two if you're moved to. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify this King of Swords, please. Please clarify the King of Swords here. Oh, please clarify the King of Swords. Ooh. See that? The Eight of Cups. What's at the bottom of this? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, what I'm feeling is like, I mean, look at how this, this guy looks like, he looks like he's crying and it's like, I heard like tick tock, tick tock, like the, he knows it's like go time. Like he can feel it. He can feel that the divine feminine pulling away because she's just like, you know what? Like, I love you, but pff, I love myself too. And, and you know what? I, I'm going to get it. Like, whether you're going to come with me or not, like, I'm going to get everything because I fucking have earned it. Shit. Holy crap. Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> and it's like, if you want to stay there, then you stay there. But I'm not, I'm not sticking around for this no more. Because like the six of pentacles is all about like, um, I mean, it can be like people working in balance, but most of the time it's like about things being off balance, you know, like one giving more than the other. And it's like, what's it going to be DM? You already know that we already know. Divine feminines know DMs, the divine masculine love them. The Divine Masculines know that they love the Divine Feminines. <sighs> Alright, one more card for Divine Masculine. Clarify this King of Swords, please. Seven of Wands. Okay, and like what I was hearing was like, this woman that's like in the background... Like, she may be holding something over him, which is why he's trying to pretend like this doesn't exist here. I mean, look, wouldn't you much rather be with this? You can get with this, or you can get with that. 
you know that song. Um, anyway, it's an old song. Um, Seven of Wands, like... Are you going to fight for this? Like, or are you going to be devoured by like your own there's like I see this like skull in here you guys see that it's like a skull Are you going to fight for the love that you feel or are you just going to continue to resist it? And then we have the page of pentacles. It turns into the Knight of Pentacles. It turns into the King of Cups. Ooh, so that gets me excited because it's like, you see how she's like putting this pentacle into her bag. Nobody is around. She's doing this in secret. So we very well could be planning something. I mean, the King, King of Cups, like he's drinking from the King of Cups. He's drinking from that cup. underneath here and then we got the ten of swords and the world it's the last card in the major arcana and then five of cups and the wheel of fortune so it's like oh, man. all right what I'm getting another message that for some, cause see how this is all blue. This is the throat chakra. Blue is associated with the throat chakra. And it's like, he's swallowing his emotions. Even though Maybe he just can't come yet. Something is like stopping him. Because after that came this Ten of Swords. So something ends, which ends a cycle within his, his own life. But it leaves him feeling sad. But this also turns the Wheel of Fortune... And then it goes from the Two of Swords to the Three of Swords. And then it gets reignited again by the Page of Wands with passion. And then he becomes the king. So he's just like really freaking delayed. Something's going on. And I have a feeling it has to do with this person back here. Okay, so now I'm hearing that Maroon 5 again song, um, Wait. Yeah, 
All right. This is interesting. Like he's like, don't leave yet. He's been delayed. Something's happened. All right, let's see. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands here for the Divine Feminines, please. Please clarify the Ten of Wands for the Divine Feminines. All right, this one. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, she's just... What's here? Three of Pentacles. It's like... She's out here, like, all by herself, like, planning this stuff, doing this. It's like, fighting for everything. But it goes from the 9 to the 10. And then remember we saw that page of wands? So, of course, some of us are, you know, the di divine feminines, we're, they're, they're going to wait, like, but not be waiting. Like the thing is like, when I say wait, like, don't just be sitting at home waiting for your phone call and don't avoid like having fun. It's like waiting, but still doing your life, you know, doing your life. Like, because, you know, you snap your fingers and your whole life changes. So anything could still happen, but there is like, I feel like divine feminines are sensing that too. I mean, because even here, she's like looking and she's, I mean, this like hurts. Like he's over here, like with this other woman and like, or worse, like he's left this third party situation and he's had like, an, like he's going out, like just being single and he's kind of like acting a fool a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's like just in the mind. Cause I don't really feel like that's happening. Like I don't, that, and, and I, like, that's not, that's not it. But there's something like, see, maybe like, cause see how this couple's over here. But they're behind a bush too, you know? All right, let's see. Another clarifier for this Ten of Wands, please. Okay, something flipped. The Ace of Cups. Because, and the first word I heard was self-love because this cup isn't overrunning with water you know like sometimes you see the ace of cups and it's like overflowing with water but it's starting to rain and the cup is filling up so it's like taking charge divine feminines are taking charge you know because enough is enough this is this is this is like too long you know, it is too long. And it is like, or being in the bushes. They don't want to be in the bushes anymore. So they're, this is, um, and by taking a stand in your own life, it's like you're starting to fill your own cup. And that is... Yeah, cause see, here's a dragonfly. It can stand for a rebirth, and some, you know, sometimes it's like a symbol of like loved ones that have crossed over. There's also a frog in there, and I see lotus flowers. So I feel like this is like you just like really stepping into your power, the divine feminines, you know, and. Yeah, because you're like sick of like he's even walking away sick of feeling this lack you're going to get yours it's not like not been easy because you're sick there's this devil energy again 
Like you're over it. Like you're over this, like letting the sex between the two of you, like get the best of you and being overcome by it and just doing it because it leaves you lacking. Like, yeah, it's fun for whatever, a few hours, but then like you always wake up alone or with freaking leaves all over your back. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not, it's not fulfilling. And it's like moving away from that energy. Like you don't, you don't want that because you have like options, divine feminine. There's, there's, there's things for you to do. I mean, there's other cups. I mean, they're like on a shelf waiting for you to pick. But you're like holding on. Some of you are just holding on. To this freaking monster on your back. You see what I'm saying? And then we got the five of wands and the queen of cups, which we had the king of cups before, remember? And then it goes to the four, four of wands. But he's about to set fire to, and he's even looking back too. Like, he's going to like throw the match and just let it go. And it's like, that's what I feel. Um, that's it. It's like, maybe you don't have to walk away for forever, but it's like walking away for now. You got to like, let it go and put this in God's hands, you know, because if he's going to stay like this, you're always going to be like this. I mean, it shows. I mean, this even comes up like the king of swords and the queen of swords. You're always going to be wishing he was there. Like, you're going to be alone staring at his picture. And meanwhile, he's going to be over here with somebody else closing his eyes and pretending he doesn't love you. It's like, take a stand. Some of you need to like take a stand for yourself. Start filling up your own cup. All right, let's clarify this devil card. I know it's hard, man. It's like hard. Like when you don't want to like let go of somebody, you know, you start thinking about all those things, you know, what they could be doing or whatever. But it's like, no, like, what are you doing? You know? Your life is passing you by. Like the queen of swords is also like that. Um, the widow, the one that like, she like ends up alone for the rest of her life. And it's like, let's take a stand divine feminine. Let's fill our own cups. Let's go get ours. You know, some of, I feel like some divine feminine that I'm speaking to have like really taken their stand already, you know? And they are filling up their own cup. They're, they're going after their dreams. And there's others that like, like the time is now for you to do this so that you can have this, the four of wands. All right. Let's see. All right. First clarifier. Okay. Santa, Santa Muerta. This is like, um, It's like a rebirth card. Maybe I might read from that one. And here's the three of cups. Yes. Yeah, celebration. It's like, because I feel like just, I'm just going to say like what I feel from this is like, cause this is a special card for this deck is like this energy between the two needs to be let go. It needs to be purified is what I just heard. Like, you guys can have like wild, crazy sex, you know, like that's not the issue where it starts getting troublesome for the two is that one of you has somebody else and the other one is, is feeling lack like while you're away and like, that's not balanced. It's just not, and it's not going to work like that. Like you can't just go on years and years, even though I feel like some of this has gone on for like, 
a year or at least, you know, a couple of years, a few years for some of you. It's like, what do you like? See how this, this baby carriage is empty. Like, what do you want to give birth to? It's creating something new. illuminating yourself, illuminating each other. Like, look at the all the yellow around her. Like, all right, let me see. Yeah, three of cups. It's okay, so this goes with this three-party situation, but it's also, it's like, we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate and be happy together. Like, I'm sorry, like, doing it in the bushes or wherever you're finding to do it is is only fun for a little bit, you know? And I'm speaking from experience, you know? The thrill of, like, doing something that nobody knows about is, I mean, it can add to, you know, to the whole, you know, ambiance of it. But when you're sitting at home like this, the thrill is gone. That, that's a song too. I started hearing that being sung too. The thrill is gone. Something I don't know. That's an older song. All right. So let's get one more for this double. Please clarify this double card. One more. One more card for this double energy. Two of swords. It's like make a choice. Grow or go. I just heard that. Yeah. Three of swords. Like, are we gonna stay in this heartache? What? This is for both of us, you know, divine masculine and the divine feminine. Cause you, for some, like both of you are feeling this, like, like the divine feminine is feeling the lack divine masculine is masking his damn feelings. Like, I feel like he's actually contemplating, like, can I live like this for the rest of my life? Because I feel like stepping out away from whatever situation is he's in is um, going to require a lot of work. And the scissors, it's like, we, it's like cutting ties with this energy between the two of you so that you can have a new, give birth to something new. But that's going to take effort from both sides. Divine feminines, it's like, keep loving yourself. Stand up for yourself. Fill your own cup. Because once you fill your own cup, like, you can do anything, man. Like, because you're not, like, sitting around thirsty for anybody. You know what I mean? That just like totally clicked now why people nowadays use that word thirsty as for uh, people that are, it's like a slang word for, um, they call you thirsty if you're like really um, horny or whatever, or like wanting attention. Well, there's nobody, like if you fill your own cup and your cup is full, like you're not going to be giving off that kind of energy. You know what I mean? All right. And I just, I'm going to do these. We're kind of long right now, but I'll just do. All right. Let me get. All right. Divine masculine calling in your soulmate. So he's over here still contemplating. Divine coming in. Healing family issues. So your self-worth issues, this is about working on your self-worth because there's, it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this like stems back to childhood. It's childhood, childhood issues. I know I've been there. Shit can mess you up, you know, but it's, it's, it's like, it's not our fault. It happened. It's our responsibility to fix it though, you know, because Everybody deserves more than sex in the bushes. Being the girl or the guy that's being done. 
in the bushes. Come on. All right. One saw one card for the connection. All right, two came out. Make the effort. It's safe for you to love. And right away I heard Divine Feminines, you are worthy. Make the effort, both of you. Both of you, Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. You know, something else I'm hearing is like, maybe the, um, and look at the bottom. This could be the one. Maybe Divine Feminines, like, this is not to be, because I know how it is. I was, I, I have been this way myself, but it's like, maybe you've had a reputation in the past. And you've done all this work. And yeah, the Divine Masculine sees it. He knows it. But it's like this is what's brought on this hesitation. Cause I feel like he took a step back for some reason, you know, something happened. I'm not sure what, but, um, there's some kind of hesitation, but for both, it's like, it's safe for, for both of you to love, you know, or maybe, maybe you have maybe divine feminines. There's been like, maybe you guys have been in a relationship before and maybe you've been overly clingy and maybe that's, what's holding them back. They're like, yeah, 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 she's great. She's great. I love her. She, I see her doing all this great stuff and I want to be with her, but, oh, you know, there's that one, there's that thing and they're having a hard time and that's why they're doing this. Like, is she really my soulmate? I mean, I feel divine masculines seriously are feeling the pull towards their divine feminine. It's driving them crazy that they can't be with you, but, but they're like trying to like literally shut it out because I feel like some of the divine feminine have already said no to secret rendezvous. And this is why they're both feeling like this heartache. That's the three of swords, but this could be the one guys you've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right. So that's that. Sorry, this one was kind of long, but whatever it all needed to be said. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Have an awesome day. Um, if you want a um, reading or anything like that, um, all my stuff is in the description box. If you're interested in contacting me or just saying hi, whatever, that's fine too. People do that. That's awesome. So anyway, have a great day guys. Talk to you soon.